Okay, so in this problem we're trying to figure out uh, the limit as x goes to negative 3 from the left side. Okay, so the very first thing we try to do is to plug in the number. And notice that when we do that, we would get negative 3 plus 2 over negative 3 plus 3. This is negative 1 over 0. And basically what's happening here is that uh, as the x value approaches negative 3, the denominator is getting closer and closer to 0, which means that this entire fraction is going to either infinity or negative infinity. And that's our goal, is to figure out which one of these it's going to. Okay, so uh, the easiest way to do this is you look at what direction you're coming from. Here, since it's telling me from the left, I'm going to pick a number uh, close to negative 3 from the left-hand side. And I'm going to plug that number in to give me an idea. And so because of this, I'm going to choose a negative 3.1. And this number, I'm going to plug it into this x value and this x value. Okay, so if I do that, I would get negative 3.1 plus 2 over negative 3.1 plus 3. And really what I'm looking for is, I'm trying to figure out what sign it is. So up on top I would get negative 1.1 over negative 0.1. And this, notice the two negatives turn into a positive. And so what's happening, because this number is positive, that means that this guy, as we approach negative 3 from the left, this is going to positive infinity. Okay, now, that was the problem, but let's take a look at the same thing, but going from the right-hand side. So let's say we look at the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the positive direction, or the right side. And this time, I'm going to pick a number that's close to negative 3 from the right. So let's pick uh, negative 2.9. OK, so if I plug in negative 2.9 into these guys, notice that what happens, drop my pencil there, I would get negative 0 0.9 on top and positive 0 0.1 on the bottom and this is a negative. So that means that this guy is going to negative infinity. Okay, so if we take a look at a picture of this, just to give you an idea of what this looks like, Wow, I'm a terrible drawer. But anyways, let's say uh, negative 3 is right here. And what happens is we have a vertical asymptote. And as we approach negative 3 from the left, we're going to, uh, this function is going to positive infinity. So that means that this function is going up as we approach the vertical asymptote from the left. But as we approach from the right, this one's going to negative infinity, which means it's going down on that vertical asymptote from that direction. And in this case, even though this isn't part of the problem, if we were being asked what is the limit as x approaches negative 3, of x plus 2 over x plus 3 without saying the direction from the left or the right side uh, you would say that it does not exist 
Um, not only because it's going to infinity and negative infinity, but because it's going in different directions if you approach it from the left and from the right side. Okay, so in this problem we're looking at the limit as x approaches pi from the left of cotangent of x. Okay, so it might be a little bit easier instead of thinking of it as cotangent of x, let's look at it as the limit as x approaches pi from the left. Uh, let's break it down into uh, cosine of x over sine of x. Okay, and let's try to figure out what's going on here. Um, let me draw a unit circle over here on the right. And since we're looking at pi, well let's look at this quadrants 2 and 3 mainly is what I'm looking at. Okay, so this is telling me um, that I'm approaching pi from the negative direction. Um, in this case, that means that I'm approaching pi from uh, values that are less than pi, so that I'm, I'm approaching in this direction, because pi is right here. Okay, now remember that uh, cosine corresponds to the x value on the unit circle. So notice that I, as I get closer to pi from this direction, um, cosine is getting closer and closer to negative 1. Now if I take a look at sine function, remember the sine function is the y value, and this one is approaching 0, which means the entire function is approaching uh, infinity or negative infinity. Now what makes it approach infinity or negative infinity is the sine. Notice that uh, sine over here is always going to be uh, positive. And cosine in this quadrant is uh, negative and so that means that this guy is going to be approaching negative infinity as we approach pi from the left. And if you remember the graph of cotangent, this verifies it. It looks something like that from 0 to pi and then it just repeats itself.